Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick weather update. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. If you have any questions about what we're doing here or anything else, please email me. You can get through to the website right there at wrag.com slash weather. Current conditions in the backyard, 76 degrees, mostly cloudy, and a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms early on, but we will be looking for more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms coming up as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day today. Isolated in nature, but unfortunately they're still going to be possible, so please keep that in mind if you have any outdoor plans. Rest of the forecast for today in the red bar, mid to upper 80s with isolated showers and thunderstorms. Tonight's forecast down here into around the lower to mid 70s for low temperatures and that's going to be about as good as it gets unfortunately as we get into the course of the rest of the weekend. We'll have more on the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Chances for anything involving rain showers, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Nothing in the way of earthquakes to report in the last 24 hours so good news on that from the New Madrid fault line. Nothing going on. Courtesy information here from the United States Geological Survey and unfortunately the logo is kind of buried by the text bar. It's <coughs> more details available from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. Great site to go to to get more information about what's going on in the Mid-South when it comes to seismic activity. Here's what it looks like in and around Rhodes College. Not exactly blue skies this morning. A lot of mottled gray out there trying to get some clearing skies in there but not really getting too much unfortunately so a little bit more cloud cover on the weather underground system from Rhodes College from Ole Miss in Oxford Mississippi a lot more sunshine taking place here as showers and thunderstorms moved on into the overnight hours but still could see some more activity from the Ole Miss campus at livecams.old from Germantown on the weather bug system looking back toward the area of Clark Tower and the areas close to in and around portions of central and eastern Memphis again and kind of hazy out there, a little bit more cloud cover and 94% humidity, 76 degrees with light westerly winds at about 7. Rest of the next several hours, again, with showers and thunderstorms off and on, temperatures will be dropping at times and then heading back upwards again as we get into the rest of the forecast throughout the rest of the day. So expecting the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out there, that's where we're going to be seeing again the possibility of most of the activity going on into around the rest of the morning into the afternoon. We don't have a lot immediately at this time, but there will be possibilities of those showers kind of coming and going. Notice again the 20 to 30 percent chance out there as we go into the late morning, early afternoon. And again, that'll continue right on into this afternoon and this evening. So the umbrella would not be a bad idea. Idea. Plus, with temperatures heading upwards into the mid-80s, with plenty of humidity out there and those west to southwesterly winds bringing in a lot more humidity. It's going to be pretty sultry out there, so definitely want to make sure to take along some water to rehydrate as you keep on going throughout the rest of the day and take some breaks, stay in the shade, get some air conditioning. One of the best things you can do as you get out the door. Heading into the rest of the day today, again, isolated showers and thunderstorms coming and going throughout the area. Won't be a total washout, but there will be the possibility of some of that activity throughout the rest of the morning into the afternoon. Rest of the day, again, Again, looking at temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s once we clear out some of the rainfall from this morning a lot more sunshine breaking in between the clouds and that's going to bump the numbers up so we could see some temperatures out there again going into around the mid to upper 80s across much of the area so decently uncomfortable out there again throughout the rest of the day into this evening and not much cooler expected anytime soon so not really good news where that is concerned temperatures through dinner time tonight back into the mid to upper 80s and again continuing to see some very warm conditions across much of the mid-south as we go into the overnight period as well could be some scattered showers and rumbles of thunder through the evening hours right on into daybreak tomorrow morning and through the day tomorrow even more chances of showers and thunderstorms right on into late afternoon and evening and we repeat that process as we go throughout the course of the next several days. So if you have any plans for outdoors, think you can go ahead and keep them, but be sure to remember you've got a plan to get back indoors again as soon as you possibly can. Again, if you see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm. So please keep that in mind for safety purposes. The lifeguards at the pool, they're not trying to annoy you. They're not trying to make you mad when they tell you to get out of the pool because there's lightning around. They're trying to save your life. So keep that in mind if you have any plans for visiting the pool, the park, anything like that going on. If there is lightning around, don't take any chances. Get back indoors again. Stay there while there's a possibility of thunder 
try something else, try an indoor plan for a while, get yourself in and out of that particular situation. And as we go toward 10 o'clock Sunday night, clearing out the weekend, decently warm and muggy, but not seeing too much in the way of showers or thunderstorms after sunset, at least that's the plan for right now. Rest of the forecast, again, isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. This forecast is going to be very similar all the way on through. There's not going to be a lot of anything in the way of cooler weather anytime soon. There's not going to be a lot of variation in the forecast. So it's going to be almost kind of stagnant into the course of the next several days. So isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms out there as we get into around the area of Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Heading into the 4th, the Independence Day holiday, hot temperatures back around 90. Plenty of humidity out there, so continuing again to see some very warm conditions across much of the area throughout the rest of of this period into the next several days. Chances of showers and thunderstorms every single day, isolated mainly late morning through the afternoon into the evening hours, and more chances of showers and thunderstorms often on there. Hot and humid during the day, warm and muggy at nighttime, not much again variation coming up, so not seeing again a lot of great opportunities for getting a lot of cool air anytime soon. This is, of course, July. Today is the first day of July 2017, so things are pretty much right on schedule for for this area of the country where it comes to temperatures and conditions. Not going to be seeing at this point a lot of change all the way through almost October. So not much is really expected to change unless we get some really decent cold fronts coming on through here or some tropical storms coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, but that appears to be relatively unlikely. Speaking of the tropics, let's take a look out and see what's going on. The Gulf of Mexico is quiet. The Western Caribbean is also quiet. And into the area last week where a tropical storm and then Hurricane Dora was wandering on through, not that much going on. Back to the east of us, just off the coast of Africa, we've got a new tropical wave making its way over portions of just south of Cabo Verde Islands and that again showing some signs of development in about the next maybe 48 to 120 hours basically of the next two to five days 20% uh, chance of development if that continues on its way it's going to be making its way toward the windward the leeward islands that could be a bit of a problem because this track will eventually take it into if it stays on its present course the Gulf of Mexico and parts of the Bahamas, but it also, according to some of the computer models, the extended computer models from yesterday at various sites, it has it curving up and very close to the East Coast states. Now again, a lot can happen between now and next week, so if you have any travel plans anywhere between, say, Miami to Boston or into the Gulf of Mexico, you want to keep up to date with what's going on with the weather in the Mid-South area and stay ready just in case. We could see, again, this is expected to be a very active season, and this could be our next big problem out there. It doesn't have a name yet, doesn't have a designation, but it could be again a bit of a problem. So stay tuned for more on that forecast and we'll keep you updated on there. Stay tuned for more on the current Mid-South forecast through our weather app. Go to your app store and search WREG weather and find out more about what's going on in the Mid-South area. If you can't watch on TV, if you can't get the internet, listen on the radio, the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations at Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. You can catch the forecast there. And, of course, my forecast bright and early Monday through Friday mornings on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. That's on AM 730 starting at 7 AM Monday through Friday. And also on these social media networks. Got plenty of information out there as well, so stay tuned for more on that. And we'll have more on your complete forecast. I have to finish up. We're about ready do the quarter hour update of our daybreak forecast so stay tuned for more there and we'll have more of course on social media and online and on air throughout the course of the rest of the weekend so stay tuned to news channel 3 catch my email address austin.onic at wrhe.com through this page on the website and of course stay tuned to all these social media sites and we'll have more information available thanks to everybody who's joining us on periscope and twitter for an update for what's going on with the forecast and stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online with News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog update for Saturday morning, Weather Overtime.